Good morning. Hey, hopefully, good morning. Good morning. Hopefully we've got a better connection. I'm in my house. And I've actually got an Ethernet cable from my computer plugged directly into the router. <laughs> well, so far it looks good. Looks good so far. Great. Right. Yeah. Hey. Well, let's start from the beginning. Tell us who you are. Well, my name is Gary Litchfield. For most of my life, I was a pastor of a very small church. Uh, I've always kind of done some crafts on and off throughout the years, and my wife and I have done some things. And uh, some years ago, we decided if we ever had a craft company that we could do something, we would call it Creator Craft. Mm -hmm. um, is it okay if I hit the button to share a screen and I'll show you a picture of what I yeah, have? Yeah, totally. With you? Is it okay? Yeah. Let me see if I can. Ah, uh, hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, I did that sign for our overall name. And then as part of that, I call myself the woodchuck. And you can see the symbol there. And I've got my shirt on with my woodchuck. Yeah. And then my wife calls hers uh, pine tree treasures. And yep. we got the little tree and it's got a little heart on it. And then my son does a thing called St. Life Entertainment. Right. Uh, he writes some books. And um, he, we, I'll tell you a little bit later about it, but we podcast and he does all the video editing and puts it together and, top six or things into it and stuff like that. How cool is um, that? And I've seen this before. You did this a while back and you sent this to me, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. There's yeah. my logo that I came up with for myself uh, years ago. I, um, I lived near the John C. Campbell Folk School. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it's a real big school that teaches people primitive crafts like um, Leather working, blacksmithing, bead making, uh, weaving things for chairs, pottery, turning. They do all kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I was getting ready for a show they were doing, and I had a whole lot of pieces that I do wood carving. And I had a picture online. Somebody said, man, you must be a woodchuck. And so I took the name. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I like it. That's really cool. And that there is my very first carving. Oh, wow. and that's all with just the knife, the yes. carving knife. If, if you could, yeah, if it's done with a knife similar to this. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And gotcha. Uh, so then uh, that was a friend taught me how to do that. She asked me if I had any, or I'd like to learn. And I said, I don't have any artistic talent whatsoever. Uh, and she said, here, take a knife and a glove. And we went through it and had that, which is not real good. And then since we lived near that folk school, he said, why don't you take a class over there? So I signed up and I did. And that's what I came up with. Oh wow. my gosh. That's so cool. That's with a lot of help from a teacher. Now, everything on there, I carved. He yeah. had another one just like it that he did side by side with me, ah. you know, teach me. And then I'd work on it and he'd work with somebody else. Then he'd come back and stuff like that. So wow. that was I like where I learned to do that. Very cool. And after that, I, well, before I start telling you what's on the screen, uh, I went on to YouTube to look for more teaching on how to carve figurines like the figure I had there. Yeah. And I came across you. Uh, <laughs> it was back uh, 2009, 2010, something like that. Wow. And uh, so I started to work on some signs uh, like the stuff you teach. And I had a few that I had. I, I use a cricket machine and I lay out my stencil with that. Yeah. And some people, when we had a consignment shop where we sold all kind of crafts, and a lot of people saw the stencil sign and said, well, why don't you just sell those? I like those. So that picture on my right is a whole bunch of the old stencil signs. Right. And we yeah. sold those for a really long time. And then I got into what's called pyography or wood burning. Yeah. And you can see the round there with the, the uh, barn. Yeah. And then yeah. I got back into following you again. <laughs> this was a sign that a sign that I did for a man at a place where I work for him and his wife. And then oh. after I he had given me a whole bunch of firewood to have for winter to be able to you know keep the house warm. So yeah. I gave that to him as a gift and then he turned around and ordered one for his brother that was just like that but his brother and wife's name on it. Oh, very wow. cool. Very cool. Wow, you're a multi talented guy. I like well I do a whole variety. I'm, I'm not just into one thing. Although, lately, let me click through the rest of these slides just so you can see it. That's one for our local school. 
Yeah. It's, they're located, it's in one of those 15 inch round uh, pine things you get at Lowe's. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I did that, their logo, and I've sold them probably seven or eight of those already. Wow. And there's a man that works at the same place I do. I'm a security guard right now. Mm -hmm. And the guy that works there, and he's got an antique store, and they make some stuff out of wood. So I made him an antique sign, yeah. and now he wants to sell my signs. And in the last, like, I'll get to the scroll saw in a minute. Um, in the last three, four weeks, I've made him 16 signs wow, that he's wow. selling through his shop. Wow, that's And awesome. anybody that comes in and wants to know, you know, where can I get a sign done, he's got a whole stack of my cards and hands them out. Very cool. Very cool. Um, then I got scroll sawing that I tried. I did that. It was a design I made up. Yeah. And then it got into turning. Turning. And I don't do a lot of that. I do a few bowls, pens, a couple things like that. Yeah. And there's my setup for the farmer's market. I set a farmer's market up every Friday and Saturday. Oh. Very nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice uh, display. Thank you. And on Fridays, I'm set up at a different place. It's... Um, Mount Airy, North Carolina. It's the place where Andy Griffith grew up uh, and the TV show was made around. Yeah. And just yeah. down the road from there is uh, Pilot Mountain, which always became Mount Pilot, another city. Mount Pilot, um, yeah. And then uh, every Saturday, this is in the town of Elkin, which is right across the river from where I live. Wow. Uh, so set up. And then I think there's one more picture. I used a couple of old ladders, wooden ladders, and I drill holes in it, put pegs, and I hang, put all my signs on it oh, for people cool. to come by and see them. Great idea. Yeah. yeah. I love that. The most, stuff. Yeah. That's one of the most popular ones right now is the camping sign. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, and then our other adventure, just because we're not busy enough, is uh, the Crown and Spear. My son and I um, have started a podcast where we tell stories from things that have happened in our life that are funny. And then I share usually a Bible verse, and we have a prayer at the end. Oh, that's, that's terrific. Cool. How that's cool really is that? Cool. Wow. So I'll get rid of that now. That's in a nutshell. Like I said, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And since I retired from being a pastor, I found out you can't live on Social Security. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we do a whole variety of other things in order to you know, make ends meet. So and your wife, in the system, your wife, I make a bunch. Your wife? Say that again? Your wife does it with you? She helps with some things. Um, she's not in real good health, um, so she has the trouble you know, getting up and doing a lot. But in that spot where you can see the, the um, farmer's market, she crochets uh, dish uh, washcloths oh, or washing uh -huh. dishes. Mm -hmm. And as fall comes, she makes um, scarves that she crochets. And then she makes pins that the ladies can pin on their clothes out of fabric, different pictures and fabric that she finds that looks neat. And she uh, cuts them out, backs them, cuts them out again, and then puts a coating on it and a pin on the back. Mm -hmm. And we sell those. And um, she makes uh, some cards. Um, we have, again, using the Cricut machine and stuff, she makes cards and we sell some of those. Um, some other things in there. And then, like I said, my son helps by He's got some books that he's written, and uh, then we started doing this podcast. We've only got six shows on our. We just started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Podcast. And, uh, so podcasting is very popular. It's very big now. Well, he's the one that brought it. We were joking around one day. He and I are are very much alike. Uh, I won't get him to come on here, but if you saw him, everybody says he's my mini me. He looks like me, but younger. Yeah. Um, but uh, we, we joke a lot. We, we always, like, things will happen. We'll be watching something, and something crazy will happen. And we'll say the same comment at the same time. Yeah. I said, you know, we ought to put this on the air for people to see. And so he said, well, let's do it. So Good. Uh, this cool. year we went out and bought a camera. And that's where I was the other day in our studio set up down there. We got headsets and microphones and a thing called a Zoom pack that you run the mics through and uh, a camera out in front of us. And... I thought everything would work from down there because we had put in the extension and it did. <laughs> the, the job that I have besides doing this, I work as a security guard two days a week mm -hmm. and Tuesday and Wednesday. And so from noon to 11 o'clock at night, I check trucks in and out at Weyerhaeuser. They make OSB boards. 
and also uh, we're the switchboard. We answer all the phone calls and stuff like that. Uh, but usually by eight o'clock at night, there is nothing else to do but sit there. Yeah. And so I take my phone with me and I turn it on and watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> or I take my take one of my knives and you know use gouges. I don't know if you can see that too well in yeah. my knife. And I take a block of wood and I sit there and just carve. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. I watch other carving people, sure. which was the thing I was looking for on YouTube when I found you years ago. <laughs> wow. Now I had a question. You said that the antique shop guy that you sold yes. that you sold sixteen signs just in the last little while. Are those yes. were those stock signs with uh, sayings on them, or like a welcome thing, or were they personalized? Uh, if you remember when I showed the sl slide with the ladder, yeah, and there was uh, one on there that said welcome and had mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was making those and selling them at my farmer's market. And I, when I met him, I went there to buy that piece of wood that I showed you first that said the creator craft. Yeah. And he and I yeah. got talking and found out that I worked at Warehouser and he worked at Warehouser. And, um, and so he gave me a discount on the wood and then I showed him the sign when I got it made. Well, then he said, make me some welcome signs. So I showed him the picture of the one I already had. Yeah. So he ordered four. Wow. I took them to him on a Saturday afternoon, and by Sunday, he had sold two of them. Wow. And so uh, there are a lot of new upstart camping areas around us. We're becoming a very well-known area for people to do camping. Um, There's a whole trail system, which is known as the Mountain to Sea Trails. It runs all the way from the ocean in North Carolina, all the way across and up to what's called Klingman's Dome, which is over between Cherokee, North Carolina, and Gatlinburg. Wow. And um, so a big part of that comes through J uh, El uh, Jonesville and Elkin, where we live. And uh, so he wanted some signs that that would not only say the welcome, which people like, um, but some that would have uh, things to do with the camping and the winery. Yeah. So I did the same sign, and I put a group of grapes on one side and two uh, wine glasses on the other side. Yes. Yeah. And then the same thing with one that had a one of those little, I think they call it a teardrop camper, a little curve uh -huh. Yeah. A picnic table. And he bought three each of those, but they were on different wood. One was on pine, one was on um, walnut, and one was on cedar. Uh -huh. And then uh, I spray all mine with uh, the um, spar urethane yeah. that is exterior grade but water-based. Yeah. I used the critter, which I learned from you. Thank you. That is a wonderful tool. <laughs> uh, and so he ordered six of those, and I took them to it. Wow. Um, and then last week, he ordered two more of the welcome signs. And while I was talking to him about that, I told him about that sign that I showed you on screen with the mountains, trees, and the camper sitting in the front. Yeah. yeah. So he's ordered one of those. Wow. So wow. I sell them to him wholesale. And then he turns around and you know, resells them at the high price. That's what and, I was going to ask you, yeah. Well, what I'm doing is he is giving me all the wood. Mm -hmm. and it's all live edge wood. Yeah. Um, and so where the signs, the, most of the bigger ones, I sell them for like 55 or that one big one with the camping scene for 75. I sell them to him for 35 and 50. Yeah. And he can turn around for the 55, 70 and make right. 20, 30 dollars on them. Right. And right. Uh, so we got a good deal. Well, then a lady came in and they live just up the road from his um, where his shop is about 15 minutes up. There's an area where people have uh, it's a golf course and they've got their either second or third home. A lot of rich folks live up in there. Uh -huh. And they had a tree cut and carved into one of those bears. Oh, uh, yeah. Where people use chainsaws to do a bear. Yeah. And they left a spot for a sign at the bottom, and they stopped by his shop and said, we want to put some signs there. Do you know anybody that does signs? Uh -huh. He says, do I know somebody that makes signs? <laughs> Gave them my card. They called me up, and they ordered eight signs from me. Wow. Um, wow. And I met them at that guy's shop. They bought the wood from him. I brought it home, and then I carved the eight signs. And uh, for the eight signs, I charged them like $550. Yeah. Um, it was some of them were fifty dollars, some were seventy five dollars on spending one sign. Mm -hmm. And they all had to do with the golf course which runs right by their house. Yeah. And the cart yeah. area where they drive the carts goes right by the bear. Oh gotcha. So it's like 
you know, let's party, you know, like party, yeah. but it's the par. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, some other sayings, like if they had a whole list of sayings. And they bought the eight, and they told me by this fall they were going to order some more that would have to do with fall things. Wow. So I've got a good connection with That's them awesome. now. And he makes money so, if they buy the wood from him. Yes. Yes. So, so the guy with the antique store, he uh, does he have a little lumber mill or something, or you know, well, where is he coming by the wood? He he works at Warehouser, which makes uh, OSB boards. Right. They get logs in, and if the log when it gets put into the grinding machine, if it's got any metal in it, they reject it. I mean, it could be as little as a staple. Wow. And right. instead of just pulling the one log out, they will grab about six to eight logs, take them out, and they sit them on the back lot. Uh, they will allow the employees to either have the wood for free uh, for firewood, but if they're going to use it for other production, they got to buy it, but they get it at a real cheap rate. Oh, wow. So oh, he and another wow. man at the plant, they bit, and then the other man has one of those portable sawmills. With yep. like the big bandsaw and you'd run it down the yep. wood yep. and he cuts yep. the slabs and the other guy turns those slabs into tables. Wow. He, he, he sands them and polishes them yeah. and some of them he leaves the, the bark on both sides. Some of them he'll cut it down the middle and join two together for a wider table. Yep. yep. And, um, wow. and so he makes some beautiful tables and sells those for hundreds of dollars a piece. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we had some people complain about the price one day. Because he was charging like four to five hundred dollars for a table, and he said, "Well, if you'll just drive down the road an hour to Charlotte and check the same price on the same yeah. table, it's eight hundred down there." Yeah, yeah. People, so yeah. they yeah. they get the wood and they they give me wood for the signs, and then I turn around and sell them to them just to cover my cost, and then they they sell them and they make money. So it's a good enterprise going on. Oh, right yeah, now. absolutely! Wow, yeah. what a what a uh, cool gig, man. That is cool. That all that wood. Man, I wish we had something like that out here. Yeah. But, but uh, that's a great way for people to have that has that entrepreneurial thing be able to take something that they have access right. to and do something with it and, and work together like that. Yeah. Yeah, and four or yeah. five hundred dollars for a big slab table is like that's cheap. Way cheap. People don't cheap. realize the oh, yeah. they yeah. into it. They just look at the table. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of people go by there and just buy the slab, you know. Yeah. And yeah. he's got one of those, well, he's got a planer that he runs them through, but then he's got one of the sanders like the uh, DeWalt you have, you know, with the handle on the side. Yeah. Which is something else I bought if you showed. Another great tool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. I was using a little random orbital sander from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh -huh. It didn't do a great job. Yeah. And, uh, and so back probably... It was this year, probably three months ago, uh, they had that uh, DeWalt one marked down for some reason on uh, Amazon. So I ordered it and had it shipped in. It yeah. was a lovely sand. Oh, that, that thing is, is a cool. beast. I yeah. love that thing. I used to hate I sanding. I love that thing, too. I used to hate sanding. She's always loved sanding, but I used to hate sanding. But now I look forward to it just because that thing's so much fun. Uh -huh. Well, the guy I get my stuff from, he I saw him just the other day. He has gone through... He's on his third one of those sanders. He's burned them up by using them so much. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he is making so much stuff up there. Yeah. Uh, he's just, he goes through them a lot. Yeah. And the, the day I went up, drove all the way, it's a little town called Sparta up on top of the mountain. And we had driven up there and come down. And I saw the live edge wood and I just stopped in and say, hey, I want to get a piece to make that sign that I showed you at the beginning. And he and I got to talking. Well, with the pandemic going on, we both had masks going. And yeah. we're sitting there talking yeah. back and forth. And I said, why well, do these signs? And I had make them. And I was telling him about it. gave him one of my cards. And, and I said, uh, I said, but I do it part-time. I said, also work part-time. He said, well, where do you work? I said, warehouse. And he said, so do I. Who are you? And we pulled our best out. Oh. And I said, well, I'm the guard the guardhouse. He says, oh, I'm Haywood. And so <laughs> he works in the lab over there where they test the wood, make sure it's put together right and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah, and uh, yeah. so then he gave me a discount on that piece of wood, and then we got to talking, and he said, well, come on over, and I'll give you some wood. Well, I'm one of these people. When somebody wants to give me something, I'm afraid to just take too much. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. took the trailer, and I got, like, maybe six pieces. Yeah. And I put them in there, you know, and I left him coming over, and I made some signs from it. Well, he saw me at work one day. He says, do you need some more wood? I said, well, I'm getting a little wood. He says, well, come on back up. <laughs> and so I went back up, 
And I was, again, going to grab another five, six, seven pieces. He loaded me up with 30 boards. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow. But my whole porch on my little shop down there is nothing but slabs of wood now. That's oh, awesome. Wow. That's a nice, yeah. that's a nice little perk. Yeah. It is. It, the design part, finally, I, you know, like I said, it's been, what, 10, 11 years that I've done it on and off. Yeah. But right now, it's really starting to take off. This year, more than anything else, people are seeing those where I got them lined up on their ladders. And they're like, well, can you do so-and-so? And I said, well, I haven't. I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. And one of them was a smaller sign with that same welcome in the mountain. Yeah. And somebody liked it. And it was on a piece of walnut, so you had that pretty wood streak through the middle. Yeah. And uh, they said, well, we'd like to have our name. Just instead of welcome, say the Whaleys. They were camping people. And they wanted it on their trailer. I said, I'll have it here for you next week. Yeah. And so they said, all right. And th But then they said they wouldn't be back for two weeks. Well, it turned out there was an opening at the campground, and they came back the next week, and I happened to have it ready for them. Oh, yeah. So the lady was so tickled. With that. She literally sat there holding her hand, rubbing it, almost like you were petting a pet. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, yeah. I love it. This is so nice. I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's that cool. Is, that is really neat when you get customers like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, you're just you're a great example of when you do stuff, and you just get your stuff out there, good things happen. And, and you never know while, exactly yeah. where it's going to come from, but you just get your stuff out there, get in front of people, good things happen. So uh, right. for you, man, I, I'm excited for you. That's terrific. Well, going back to the uh, Mount the Sea trail system, like I said, our town is really big on it. They put in a new Chamber of Commerce building, um, which also gets used as there's some people that use it. They have... Um, vans and people come in and want to tour the wineries since there's many wineries around here now uh -huh. and so they will go and either come to that location or they will go to either the campground or the hotel and pick them up and then take them on the tour of the winery right so it gets used for that well there's also stuff inside to talk about the trails and the trail that runs through elkin runs along a place where an old railroad track used to run the track's not there anymore but it's a path of trails where you can walk along the river and go over some bridges and back and forth. Yeah. And a man that's big with that came to me Saturday and said he had come across some old axe that they used to make the railroad ties with, where you, you, you used to chop to make the square ties. Yeah. He wants me to use my talent and the, the routing for lettering to make a stand that'll go in that building to display those axe and then have something on it about the Mountain to Sea Trail. And he said, of course, now, make sure you put your name on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so man. I'm going to get to make a display out of some of the wood and route in uh, something about what it's for, and it'll be displayed in the building down there. Fantastic. Again, wow. just another, you just never know where things are going to come from once you get right. your stuff out there. Yeah. Fantastic, buddy. Well, you know, we're, I think we're coming, uh, yeah, we're good. Close to a half hour. <laughs> that went quick. Yes, Man. Yes. Time flies. It really does. Yes, <laughs> I think everybody's going to get a kick out of this and get some ideas from what you're doing. Um, uh, you're just a, a great success story, man. Thank you. Well, the I, I give credit to God. Uh, he's yep. the one that helps me with everything and provides. Uh, there are times where we scrape by, we're like, I don't know where the next dollar is coming from. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then there are times yeah. where right now he is blessed and we've got to actually a couple hundred dollars in the bank. It's yeah. the same, you know. Yeah. So uh, we, we give our credit to God and I thank you guys. Because like I said, it was pure, I, I, this is the wrong way to put it. I started to say it's a pure accident I came across to you. God led me to you yeah. years ago. Well, and uh, like I said, I was looking for hand-carved figurines. And you used the term carving in your description yeah. right. for signs. And when I typed in carving, it came up. And I thought, well, what's this? this is interesting. And I started watching, and I've been watching. And, of course, now I've been watching for 11 years. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Well, one of these days. And we've talked a few times on the phone. Yeah. I, oh, I know. Yeah. One of these days, I want to get back there. Uh, I've been to North Carolina a couple times, and uh, – Man, it, it's so it's pretty beautiful. back there. Uh, we, we definitely want to make our way back there. So we'll definitely well, You've up. got your trailer now and the yeah. truck. Uh, yeah. Head this way yeah. after Texas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, buddy. Well, we're going to let you go. Thank you again so much. Uh, so um, 
I appreciate it, and I'll go check out your podcast. All right, I appreciate that. Like I said, it's real small. I think out of the six things, I think the first one it's been about a hundred people have seen it. Uh, the last one, probably up to about twenty or thirty people have seen it. Uh, I think actual clicks and likes were somewhere in I think around twenty or thirty. Yeah. Um, we we got in one of the shows. I took one of my hand carved Santa Clauses, which is about that big. It's about six tall, maybe eight inches, and it hangs on a little wooden Christmas tree. Um, and we, we've offered that as a freebie to somebody once we reach a thousand views. Oh, uh, viewers. Yeah. Um, so all they got to do is write in on our email address and say win carving. And uh, once we reach a thousand, we're going to announce that and give it out. Oh, very good cool. idea. Great idea. So a little, little incentive for people to watch and click and then yep. share it with their friends. I just, right, yeah. buddy. Well, thank, thanks again so much. And uh, hopefully this, I'll get this done and, and we'll get this on uh, this coming Friday's uh, Zoom call in the morning. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Uh, it's been fun. And like I said, I, the way I talk, I could sit here and talk for a couple hours. Now, but I know we got to cut it short. <laughs> no worries, man. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gary. All right. You, you have a great, bye. Have a great day, buddy. Uh, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye.